Once players get used to using their hips to create that hip-driven energy to move the sled, we're gonna slowly increase the distance um, away from the pad incrementally getting back down to their starting position, two-point or three-point stance. To start this drill, Ryan's gonna come up and measure the distance from his fingertips to where his base is. From there, he's gonna condense down to a two-point coil. On hit, he's gonna teeter and explode with his hips, are gonna drive his hands into the pad. Ready, hit. What we're looking for is we don't want players to step and push. This distance allows them to train that teeter aspect where they have to kind of rock forward so they can initiate that hip-driven power to launch their hands, to drive their hands into their opponents. We're not gonna step and push. We want our hips to drive our hands into the pad and drive the sled down the field. So we're starting from a good coil position. We've measured the distance. Ryan's got his elbows inside the frame of the body. On hit, he's gonna teeter. And the moment he starts to rock forward, he's gonna explode with his hips, driving his hands into the pad. Ready, hit.